everyone. I am Kalia Braswell. And today we are here to talk about the future. What does the future hold for our students? And what does it mean to be future ready? For many, being future ready means concentrating on what is to come. However, for me, being future ready means building relationships, remaining positive, and giving back to those who helped you along the way. My start was in the NAF Academy of Information Technology at Philip O'Berry Academy of Technology in Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> it was at Philip O'Berry that I learned the value of building relationships with others. I have several female mentors from my academy, one that is here today, <laughs> women who despite not having me in their class, went out of their way to foster my talents and interests, spurring me spurring in me a drive to succeed and continuously improve. Seven years later, I still maintain strong relationships with these mentors and have shared many of life's milestones with them. An African proverb states that if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. So when you are preparing to be future ready, don't forget about those who are around you who have supported you from the very beginning you will need them on your journey. In addition to building relationships with others, to be future ready, you need to remain positive about what lies ahead. As a senior at North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina, in their computer science program, I wanted to attend a PhD program after graduation to continue the research efforts that I had started while at NC State. I applied to three PhD programs that had the curriculum of my interest. However, I did not get into any of them. I did not let those closed doors keep me down because I knew that there was a greater purpose for me. I was advised to attain a master's degree first, so I applied to two programs and was accepted to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Through this experience, I learned that life never works out how we plan it. However, we always finish where we should. While at UNC Charlotte, I helped plan the National Society of Black Engineers' first national hackathon. I did my first technical talk located at Facebook for the Symposium of Usable Privacy and Security, a subject matter I had just discovered while in my graduate program. I've interned at Google, Bank of America, and Apple, where I am now as a user experience intern. It is for that reason that you must remain positive in your journey to being future ready. Although future ready, being future ready yields professional success, it also inspires you to give back to those who helped you. With a friend and fellow NAF alumna, I have started working on a scholarship fund for Philip O'Berry students called the Tech Flight Foundation, which celebrates, motivates, and empowers underrepresented minorities to create technology. In addition to this, I've also founded InTech Camp for Girls, a one-day camp that inspires young women to innovate in the technology field. Both of these initiatives have helped me remember that while I embrace my past, while, while my, excuse me, both of these initiatives have helped me remember my past while embracing my future. My story is just one example of how NAF education prepares students to be future ready. I look forward to taking this powerful idea with me to encourage forward movement in my peers and in the young women I work with. I challenge everyone in this room to look back at how you became future ready and use the knowledge from your past to build strong relationships, remain positive, and share your expertise with the next generation of innovators and leaders. Thank you.